This being a single implant case, and you see the left hand uh, central incisor. So this is something that has been referred to the clinic. Patient has a failing root, and it has been restored temporarily with a composite crown by the referring dentist. And it's a very interesting sort of lateral root filling technique. They try to fix uh, cracks of the root, um, but of course the tooth itself is failing, so we're going to replace it with a single implant. Now patient here, this is a famous Swedish person, I'm not going to say the name, but she is more or less telling me that, you know Marcus, I know that you can perform this and you can give me an immediate restoration the day of surgery because I'm not going to have something that is removable because I can't control my work. I need a tooth here. So is there a way to manage this? So this was an interesting case to sort of try out this concept. So what we're doing then, that we're walking from the time of extraction, we're placing the implant by means of a guide, and we are immediately loading that implant. So of course, at that stage, what are we doing? Yes, we're drilling through a guide. Now, problem in quote, doing guided surgery, you lose tactility. You lose the sense of when you're drilling through that type of instruments. And talking about torque, you have a squeeze fit between components. So I gain prosthetic values. I have an implant that is placed in a perfect angulation position, but I have no sense really of a primary stability or slash torque when I install the implant. So I have to measure by means of ISQ what type of implant, what type of decision should I take. So we're aiming, of course, for immediate loading here, and this is a nice value. So it's a high value of ISQ. So that gives me the confidence, of course, to go further with the patient.